first guest tonight is a uh, seven-time, seven-time Academy Award nominee whose films include, of course, Lawrence of Arabia and My Favorite Year. He has a new motion picture entitled Phantoms. It opens January 23rd. Here is the legendary Peter O'Toole. Peter. Hi, Peter. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Welcome to the theater again. How are you? Not too bad. <laughs> did you have a nice holiday? I did. Uh -huh. Yes, I was in. I, I was going to go to Ireland, but I had to stay in, in England for a while. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what was what was your uh, when you were a kid? What were the holidays like then for you? It's wonderful I don't have to do anything at all. <laughs> uh, the Christmas before the war began. Right. 1939. And I was six. And I was determined to see if there was a Father Christmas. You call him Santa Claus. Santa Claus? In Ireland and England we call him Father Christmas. Same fellow. Yeah. <laughs> so, I crept down the stairs, avoided my minder, mm -hmm. and I was determined to see if this Father Christmas bloke did exist, and was he coming. And I was crouched at the bottom of the stairs, and naturally I nodded off, and uh, I heard noises. Uh, I thought, ah, he's here. <laughs> Open, switch, light, and there's my mother, standing at the light, mm -hmm. And this is the days when Christmas trees were put up only on Christmas Eve. Right. And there was my father sitting on the floor with a Christmas tree across himself and his bowler hat over one eye and brown paper bags. And I marched up and I said, Daddy, is there a Father Christmas? Well, he got up and went through the door. What I didn't know is he took a brown paper bag with him which he obviously blew up, but all I heard from be the shut door was a BANG! <laughs> He'd blown up the bag and, and he came back in, looked at me very solemnly and said, Peter, Father Christmas has just shot himself. <laughs> That's a very, that's a cute story. <laughs> wow, as a kid, but the guilt you must have suffered all your life that Santa had killed himself in your kitchen. <laughs> what a horrible thing for a kid. No, I, I felt rather reassured. It, it proved he had been human. In fact, he was there at one point. Sure, dead now, of course, but had been here earlier. You just missed him. He's now getting cold in the kitchen. Uh, do, you, do you have a, and I, I feel like every time you're on here, I ask you the same thing. Do you, do you have a, a, one of these great stories about uh, when you were doing live theater? Just, you know, it seems like you can't really do theater and not have a couple hundred of these stories. Well, I can tell you of a theatrical fiasco in which I was involved, but for which I was not responsible. Honest. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a queer piece. We were touring in the 50s, in later 50s in England. Uh, the setting was a beach with on one side a door and a flight of stairs leading down to that beach and the whole of the back was the ocean the sea with uh, blue cyclorama and screens and scrim tending to be the sea cunningly lit <laughs> with concealed lights being foam and phosphorus and ripple <laughs> <laughs> wow this is pretty good <laughs> <laughs> the curtain went up on uh, sylvia sims and me in swimming gear having appeared to have been in that sea having had an early morning dip 
<laughs> I was Roger, and Sylvia was Pamela. And coming down the steps of the beach house and going towards a, a deck chair was Nicholas Meredith, a merry man. And Nick's lines, which have been burned into my memory, were, Morning, Roger. Something about a deck chair. Austerity, poise, and comfort. The austerity is an illusion. The comfort is achieved only with difficulty. And the poise we leave to Pamela. You know, snappy stuff, you yeah. <laughs> Well, Nick had decided that he would address these lines while he was putting up a deck chair. Well, it was one of those wooden jobs, you know, the old-fashioned, with the sure. canvas and the... Difficult. Struts. Yeah, difficult. Unwieldy. You have to stick into the notches right. and your know, finger jammers. Put kangaroo and, uh, on you. Uh, so. <laughs> well, you know, when they just, they just whap, just whoops, it's kangaroo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, sometimes he got the chair up, sometimes not. <laughs> At all times it was funny. Yeah. And over the weeks of this boring tour, uh, it got funnier and funnier, as these things do. And, uh, uh, Nick was a pathological giggler, which giggles he could conceal, in his view, by coughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just fine. <laughs> Something about a deck chair. Austerity. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. And when he got hysterical, it, with fits of laughter, he would twist his hair. And that meant, under no circumstances, ho ho, put it, ho ho, conceive that I am, uh, uh, uh I'm good. laughing. Uh, ho. So, uh, ho ho. We, 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 we had a, a meeting because it was getting out of hand. It was the beginning of this very serious play. I was no, no, no more, no, no more, no more laughs, really. It must stop. Because it, we were giggling, and as you know, it happens in the theatre. It's, it's ridiculously mm -hmm. unprofessional, but nevertheless, it does go on. <laughs> Curtain went up, Sylvia and I came tripping on. Nick attacked the chair. Something about a deck chair. <laughs> Austerity, oh, poise, oh, 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 and then to extricate himself <laughs> from this, obvious, this uh, n comical nightmare, he improvised a line. He said, I'm going to post a letter. <laughs> and leaving behind a pile of canvas and timber, he marched resolutely into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> There was a palm tree. I popped behind the palm tree, thinking, I didn't do this. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> On his progress into the sea, fully clothed, he kicked over a light. It sparked yeah. smoke, a little flicker of flames. <laughs> Sylvia just left the stage. <laughs> I pretended I was disappearing and invisible <laughs> behind the palm tree. Nick <laughs> was floundering around <laughs> in a burning sea. <laughs> <laughs> and onto the stage came a fireman. Mm. <laughs> dressed from head to foot <laughs> in firefighter's kit. Of course, sure. With that big brass <laughs> helmet on. And the fire bell was going off, you know, the round brass yeah, job with right. the hammer going ring. And he had an axe. <laughs> and the whole thing was in flames. <laughs> and the curtain came down. And that was the end of that very serious play. <laughs> Peter, you have a, a new film. Phantoms uh, opens on uh, January 23rd. I hope it does very well for you. Thank you very the, much. The best for a happy, healthy 1998. Please come back anytime. Good to have you here. Peter Thank O'Toole, you. ladies and gentlemen.
We'll be right back with Martin Scorsese.